Hey guys, it's me again. Um, ignore my really messy room. I'm cleaning it right now. Well, I'm doing laundry right now and then I'm going to clean it. But while the laundry's being done, that's why I'm doing all these videos because I'm bored. Um, so I wanted to show you something I've just really gotten into. Um, you guys know I've been doing Zumba fitness. Um, I do it like three to four times a week. And it's what started me doing this to my t-shirts. Um, okay, this is, might be TMI, but um, every girl knows that you don't want like hairy armpits when you're working out. Well, I wax mine um, just because I feel like it's better for it. Anyway, with that said, I don't want to wear tank tops when I'm trying to grow it out to wax it. So I have to do something and wear t-shirts. Well, my t-shirts, um, I get too hot in. So... I had this idea with my Zumba shirts to cut it up so it's kind of like air flows through it. Um, so anyway, here's just, this is a Mickey Mouse t-shirt. Um, let me bring the camera down lower so you guys can see it. Um, Cause I don't think you'll be able to see it like this. All right, Mickey Mouse t-shirt, Goodwill. Um, fringe is really in this year. I did fringe um, at the bottom. So it's super fun. Cut the neck out. Um, did the sleeves and then the back is really cool it's what I'm going to show you today how to do um, and it's really simple and easy and then I just wear a sports bra under it I like my neon because I feel like it's just fun and funky and very 80s and as you know 80s is way back in but the fringe is really easy to do too I'll show you a tutorial on that sometime just not today but anyway for today's lesson <laughs> I'm taking this shirt um, you want to try to practice with a very old shirt first because you could mess it up. You don't want to do a shirt you really love if you mess it up. So this says, let's do a shot. Um, ask me about Redken Chemistry. It's Redken Hair Products. It's just a t-shirt. So what we're going to do first is cut the neck out of it. So what I do is I just go along the seam of the neck. So you're going to take really nice um, fabric scissors. And I'm going to put the camera down a little bit so you can see more what I'm doing. This is my like hair slash craft station. So we'll turn it this way. And you're going to start right where the collar is. And depending on how, how wide or how um, narrow you want the neck to be is how much you cut. You can cut it with it on you. And that way you can see how it's going to hit. That's fine. It's pretty much what you want to do. Um, it's totally up to you. But you definitely need sharp, sharp scissors. These are... I don't know who makes these, I just know I, made, I got them from Joanne Craft. Um, so then you've got a collarless shirt. You're going to pull that out um, and it kind of stretches that collar to make it nice and cute. Now here's the fun part. You're going to take it, here's the front, and you're going to take it apart. So the sleeves, so there's one sleeve, and there's another sleeve. The sleeves are like that and you want the um, seams to line up. Now sometimes you won't have a steam shirt, that's fine, just do what you gotta do. So then you're gonna lay it down, and you see how we have, this is the back of the shirt right here. Um, so then we're gonna take, and right where the neck starts, you're gonna take your thumb, and you're gonna put it right here. Um, and you're gonna do about a thumbs width apart. You're not gonna cut your thumb, cause I don't wanna be sued. And you're just gonna do straight lines across. So there's one line, as you can see, um, I did. And we're going to take another thumb and do another line. And then another thumb. And you're going to do them so they gradually get smaller and smaller. You don't have to do them that way, but I just think that is what looks the coolest. Um, so more and more and more. And you just kind of cut, and you don't have to make them that big. You don't have to make them. So then you're going to take the shirt and open it up again, and that's what you're going to see. Um, I don't know if you can see it, how it's kind of frayed. But then you're going to stretch that part that you've just cut. So stretch. And that's what helps make them like the small little bands like mine were on my back of my shirt. Um, this shirt's weird because it's got some kind of weird fabric. It's like lycra is in it or something. Anyway, you're stretching them and stretching them and stretching them, and you want to stretch them so they're like a lot, a little tiny line. Don't pull too hard because they might break, depending on how the quality of the shirt. 
Here's the cool part, and I shouldn't have done a black shirt because this is going to be hard to see. You're going to lay it flat, and you're going to take this first string, wrap it around, take the second string, wrap it around the third string, third string, wrap it around the fourth, fourth, wrap it around the fifth, fifth, wrap it around the sixth, sixth, wrap it around the seventh, maybe seventh, wrap around eighth. An eighth is the last one. You're going to pull it as tight as you want it to, because you can shrink the back like that. So it's good to do with t-shirts that you really think are too big for you. Um, you can do it on the sides of t-shirts, but anyway, you have this string hanging up. So what I like to do is I cut the string right in half, and then I just tie it off. So I tie it to that, that last one, and I double knot it, obviously. We don't want, um, want all this coming undone and our work being destroyed. So you tie that really tight, you tie the other side really tight, and you tie it however the heck you want to tie it. This is your shirt. You can't go wrong as long as you don't chop the whole thing up. Alright, so then we t cut these little ugly strings that are hanging off that we just tied. And there you have the back of your cute t-shirt. Um, I'll show it to you maybe like this, I don't know. There. You see, and it's like weaved, so fun, so easy, and you can do stuff to the sleeves if you want to. It's just like the coolest thing to snazz up a shirt. So um, anyway, the shirt of that one looks like this one. I don't know if you can see it. Sorry, I know the video. I probably should have picked a different color. All right, guys, thanks for staying tuned, and if you want to see other t-shirt fun things, just leave me a request, and I'll do them. All right, thanks for watching.